I think today people worry a lot about the world, about the economy, China, economy in the world. And, but I'm a very optimistic. When people start to worry, that, that is the opportunity is. Right? I worry about the blood testing and she created uh, good things. And I think great innovations, great companies always happen in the tough times. Lives like uh, the music, you have uh, up, you have a down, you have a long, you have a short notes. And I, I like your American movie, life, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get, <laughs> right? So I'm pretty optimistic. The opportunity in the future for equality is huge. Because in the, in, in the last century, the IT is for big companies. The globalization is for big companies. But now with the technology, we can serve those 80% of the companies that have never been served. We can serve the 80% of the young people that have never been served. Technology for internet is so cheap, so easy to use. One of the reasons why we grow in China e-commerce so fast, much faster than the US, is because our infrastructure of commerce in China was too bad. When it is too bad, something happened and goes. Today we are working on the rural areas of China. I can never imagine that China, about 800 million people still live in the rural areas, are farmers. And there are about close to 200 million people. Their income is less than $1 per day. And before the internet, it's impossible for these guys to reach the PC because it's so difficult. Even people like me, I don't know how to use a PC. But now 80% of the farmers, those people using mobile phones. We have the mobile phones, the internet, the data. Things change a lot. So I'm excited about the future. People always worry. That's the, you know, I, I love the young kids sitting there and talking about the dream, the hopes. Because if they have the hope, we have the hope. That's what I believe. I'm not good at schooling. Well, yeah, that's why I give confidence to a lot of young people in China. If Jack Ma can, success, can be successful, 80% of the people can be successful. <laughs> Yesterday, I was joining the United UN Women Conference about gender equality. And I think the first technology revolution happened 200 years ago in the UK, released the human body, the arm, stronger. The second technology revolution in the, in the, in the US, if our energy, you can last long. But this technology of revolution release, release the brain. So this century is not a competition who is stronger, whose muscle is stronger is who is smarter, who is soft, who can listen. It's the challenge of wisdom. So men and women are equal. On the internet, you can never see he's a woman or a man. And on the internet, women can serve much better than, than men on the internet. And a man talking about a business, talking about you know, numbers, competition, they make business very cold. Women, they make business very cozy, lifestyle, and interesting. 50%, more than 50% of our shop owners, more than half, five million shop owners are women. And people love that. I mean, this is, this is the great thing I see that this century, we see more and more women leaders, right, on the state leaders, and the presidents. In the, in the future, we're gonna general sector of the United Nations should be a woman leader. And this is the great century for equality. And I, I feel excited about that. I am a strong believer that technology can make the world much better because people say China economy is getting slower. I'm happy about 7%, even 5%. Even 5% of the GDP of the number of China, of the second large economy, is big enough. You, you don't expect China to keep on growing 11%. Because like a one, body, one human body, when you are 1.8 meters tall, you cannot keep on like a 10% growth every year. You have to grow the quality, your mind, the wisdom. So I think China needs new technology to solve these problems, and which today the data, the, the, the clean technology, all these things that China is supposed to do, if we keep on the, tradition, the, the old ways, we'll go nowhere. Uh, this is why I feel excited because people ask me, what is your dream now? Because I never thought I would be today, sit here talking to president. I'm like a guy you know, on the street and like, failed three times for university, five times for, for high key schools. I applied for 10 times in Harvard school, all rejected. <laughs> I never thought, because of the technology, because the internet give me this opportunity. So I think when I retire, I don't want the Chinese people have a terrible water to drink, unsafe for food, with the money we make all spent in the hospital. That's disaster. 
So how we can using the technology to enable young people, the greater chance of this world, don't worry about it. We got 1.4 billion people who were born in 1980s. They are the people of the internet times. They are going to have new ways to solve the world problems. The things you are worried about today, they can solve it. And human beings have the, these kind of worries for centuries. And young people can always solve it. And today, when you have the right direction, clean energy, you know, the, the, the climate change, all these issues, they will be solved. And these are the great opportunities ahead of us. I think about when you, want, when you talk about uh, problems, you normally it's like a politician. When you talk about opp opportunities that the business people, I was thinking about how we can use you know, all the problems that change the problem become the opportunity. And um, I, I don't know, I just feel excited when people talk about problems. Think about if you can solve one of them, that's the chance. And today, nobody in live in this century has so many opportunities and so many uh, tools they can use to change other people's life. And I think in, in the last century, which I called IT time, this century is called a DT time, data technology. IT is to empower yourself, make yourself strong. DT is to empower the others. When you p empower the others, you empower your future, yourself. So I agree, and I think uh, that's why we were born in this century. That's why we, uh, how we can use the internet to help more people. Let's give them a hand. Thank you. Don't worry. Any mistake is an income, is a wonderful revenue for you. So I told myself and told my young people, before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to a small company, you learn the passion, you learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one, one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go, it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teaches you differently. And before th from 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly when you're working for yourself if you really want to be an entrepreneur. When you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to drop into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the, the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about how can you focus on things that you are good at. But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. So when you are over 60 years old, Spend time for yourself. On the beach, sunshine, you know, you're <laughs> right? It's too late for you to change, normally. But I, this is my, my advice to the young people. 25 years old, make enough mistakes. Don't worry. You fall, you stand up. You fall, you stand Enjoy it. I mean, 25 oh. years old, enjoy the show, enjoy the show. We had a system called Teach Computers to learn how to anti fake products, teach the computers to learn how to, uh, you know, because we have Alipay, a lot of people try to use all the ways to cheating. So we teach the computer how to do that the cheating uh, things. So we've been doing that for 10 years. Until now, there is called artificial intelligence, because we've been doing that. We are a data company. Eight years ago, we said to ourselves, Alibaba should not be an e-commerce company. We should be a data company. Because we have the data from consumers, we have data from the manufacturer, we have data from the logistic company and transactions. But we think how we can make a data really beneficiary to the society. What China need is that we have a lot of great people. All the small business, they are very credible. But they don't have a, we don't have a credit system for that. So how can we using a credit rating system based on the data we have, to it giving everybody a sesame uh, 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 rating system. 
that is so powerful in the past four years because every individual every small business if they have been using our services we give them a rating system so we're giving loans in the past five years we're giving five million business loans they only bought borrow five thousand dollars three minutes we can decide whether we should give you money how much you want to give within one second the money will be in your account and zero people touch so we call it 310 and even today the sesame rating system become people dating the mother-in-law want to say hey you want to dating with my daughter show me your rating system of the sesame car <laughs> People want to rent a car, people want to rent a bicycle, they will say, show me your sesame cards. Mm, good. Because if they do not pay back, if they do not fulfill, the rating system is going to low down and they can never rent a house. Right? This is what we want to build up, the system. That if you sell or buy fake products, the sesame cards will show. Every five years, we have a review for our strategy. Now, our strategy is always to look at the 30 years and 10 years. And then, Every strategic decisions we make, we have to ask one question. Is this decision we made solve society problem? Because we believe the bigger social problem you solve, the more successful you are. So if we do if this cannot solve any social problems, we don't do it. Second, is this project is going to be successful in 10 years? If it's, it's going to be successful in 10 years, let's do it. If it's going to be successful in one year or one month, now more I say, forget about it. Because why you can be successful in one year or one month? So we all have to put parent. And five years ago, we had a big debate about 10 years later, 20 years, what are the things that China society and the world leave, want? So we say happiness and health. 2H strategy, the so happiness and health. We believe Hollywood, you know, the movie industry bring people happy. Because today nobody's happy. Rich people not happy, poor people not happy, you know. At least when I watch a movie, I feel happy about it, right? Well, can I say one last thing? Yes, please, please. I just want to give my last advice to any people here that every government should pay attention to in the next 30 years are critical for the world. Every revolution, technology revolution takes about 50 years. The first 20 years, technology company. Next 30 years, the implication of the technology. Focus on next 30 years. The first 20 years, eBay, Amazon, Facebook, Alibaba, Google. Good. The most important is that make the technology inclusive, make the world change. This is 30 years. Next, pay attention to those people who are 30 years old because those are international generation, internet generation. They will change the world. They are the builder of the world. Third, that let's pay attention to the company who, are, who have fewer than 30 employees. So 30 years, and 30 years old, and 30 employees. That will, can make the world much better. Jack Ma, thank you very, very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.